the Twisted Masquerade 6th year anniversary event has officially started. Along with it came a bug fix patch, so let's go over the important bug fixes and the event itself. Nothing interesting was fixed. That, that, that's about it. Rubber banding is still with us, god bless it. Uh, let's move on to the event. When you first open the game, you will be greeted by this little animation, complete with balloons and everything. Pretty cool. Then, of course, the pop-up explaining the event a bit. And here's the event tome. Stay tuned till the end to see all the level 1 challenges in detail. Um, a note here, uh, this is very cool that I've done with the community challenges, that it's actually in-game now. Uh, anywho, for now, let's take a look at Behavior's website for info about the event. So here we are at dbd.com about the new Tristan Masquerade. First, let's take a look at the event trailer. So that was a pretty cool trailer. And uh, let's take a look, uh, maybe a little more in detail. A Realm of Splendor. June 16th, 11.30 a.m. ET. So that was for my time an hour ago. Uh, to the 30th. Okay, so it's going to go for about, you know, 15 days. Same time, so 11.30 a.m. ET will be the end. The Entity's Realm undergo a luxurious transformation. Sites you've come to recognize, generators, hooks, lockers, and more, have all been decorated for this gleefully twisted occasion. The blood web will also be filled with several limited time event items, including masquerade flashlights, toolboxes, medkits, and the return of the anniversary blood point offering. Yeah, that was pretty cool, some nice screenshots. Seek your invitation. For the duration of the Twisted Masquerade, invitations will be placed throughout every trial. Housed atop an ornate pillar of black and gold, these invitations will move around the map, triggering a sound cue after relocation. Upon finding one, both killers and survivors can claim their invitations to earn up to 12 exclusive mask cosmetics. To successfully receive the reward, killer players must finish a match after interacting with an invitation, survivor players must survive until an escape option becomes available, meaning the exit gates or the hats must open. Be careful, however. If you're left on a hook or killed the moment the exit gates or hats open, you'll have to try again next trial. Okay, so they're changing it a bit since last year. First of all, well, the first part is the same. You just find it and take it. Uh, the second part, you don't actually have to escape as a survivor. You just have to be alive and not hooked. I guess, not hooked or, you know, if you're on the hook. It doesn't count, and then you die. Yeah, you have to be alive anytime after the X gates are open. So when the... Um, basically, you have to just be alive in the... Uh, what, what is it called? Uh, the endgame collapse. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, and then you get it. And killers, you just have to interact with, and you just get it. These are the masks. It's pretty cool, but eh. 
This is a masquerade and make no mistake, it's a twisted one. With such a deadly dress code in place, it's only fitting that successfully claiming invitations will earn you up to 12 collectible masks for 6 killers and 6 survivors. Seeing as it's been 6 years together in the fog, we've been feeling a little nostalgic. When choosing the recipients of these masks, we made sure to highlight two characters from each year of Dead by Daylight. Step into the fog, seek out your invitation and unlock them all. Please note that these mask cosmetics unlock are in a random order, regardless of which role you play. That's pretty cool. Now we have Trapper, Huntress, Spirit, Deathslinger, Trickster, Artist, and Dwight, Ace, Jane, Yui, Elodie, and Michaela. Um, yeah, we have the event home and community challenges, as we saw, and we'll see with even more detail later on. Um, these are for the community challenges, actually. You unlock this very cool outfit for the dredge. And this pretty cool outfit for Hattie. And the two charms. Three charms, actually. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to read all that because it's basically what we already know. We have daily login rewards, which is... Uh, if you log in at any time, you get 600,000 blood points. And then... Each day we're going to have 5 red fragments, 1,000 redescent shards, red fragments, then 50,000 blood points, then 100,000 blood points 2 days later, 1,500 redescent shards, another 100,000 blood points, then 10 red fragments, 1,000 shards, 50,000 blood points, 1,000 shards, 10 red fragments. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and yeah, they're just talking about that. Who cares? Well, anyway, thank you all for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Um, make sure to play, you know, get all your masks. So they're all one-time things. For example, I have all the crowns of, from previous years, except year four of Oni, because I forgot to play Oni and get the, get the not the mask, the crown. That was pretty cringe. So yeah, uh, make sure you subscribe. And... Uh, you know, come into my Discord server down below. Maybe we can uh, play together because we're playing Dead by Daylight tomorrow and on Saturday over on my Twitch, twitch.com slash Sumordagu. See you there. Editor Sumordagu here. Uh, I forgot to mention that uh, Prime Gaming with DBD is back on. And uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. If you have Twitch Prime, you can go over to thegaming.amazon.com and you can get this pretty cool outfit for Hadi. That's it. Bye-bye.